Politician of the Year, Angela Merkel's reputation soared in 2014, and she starts this year with a pretty severe to-do list, averting a looming Eurozone crisis, presiding over the G7, as well as reigning in Russia, and, of course, trying to help the UK stay inside the EU, though it's not clear how much of a priority for her that is. At 60, a decade after becoming Chancellor and halfway through her third term of office, Angela Merkel is the most successful politician in modern German history. Brought up in former East Germany, her father was a Lutheran pastor. She became a quantum chemist before entering politics. Back then, she was a loyal member of the communist youth movement. You had to be to get higher education. But for her, the most important moment of her life was when that wall fell down. The crucial difference between Angela Merkel and British Eurosceptics is that she doesn't see the EU as interference or a threat to national sovereignty. She sees it because of her background as a symbol of democracy, freedom and liberalism. At a deep level, she simply doesn't understand British parliamentary Euroscepticism. And if anyone in London thinks that doesn't matter very much, they ought to remember that this is a formidable woman, well used to being underestimated. And that goes right back to her first emergence into all German politics. She had no experience, no standing. She had no share in the politics of Western Germany. So she was seen as just uh, some window dressing. But out of that situation, she came to be not only a fairly successful minister in the last coal in the two last coal cabinets, but also secretary general of the party. That background in the East as a schoolgirl gave her an advantage with President Putin. She talked to him in Russian and built up a close personal relationship. All of that changed last year when she switched her approach towards Russia as it became more aggressive in Crimea and Ukraine. She is now leading a tougher European policy towards Putin and